Ima Salami, and I am an immigrant. And today, I would like to talk to all the immigrants and internationals in this room. So if you, by any chance, are a local Dutch person, I'm afraid you're in the wrong room. And I have to ask you to kindly leave the premises. No, I'm just joking. I'm actually going to talk about something that addresses all of us here. It's about the health of all the human beings, the global citizens. But I would like to start with a story, an anecdote, a personal story. Me, together with my lovely parents, who are sitting here and I'm so proud of them, we moved here around four and a half years ago. And like any other immigrant, we had to get integrated to the society. We had to enter the new systems, such as the healthcare system. And this process is not usually that straightforward. For some people, it only takes maybe some weeks, maximum a few months. But for some people, like my mom, it took more than a year. You might think, oh, maybe one year is not that big of a deal. And I think I can agree with you, unless there is a critical health situation. If I tell you about the health issues of my mom, I would like to inform you that I've already asked her for permission if I could share this. And she said, you could share this, but you could only share it with your closest 200 friends. <laughs> and I think you are here are my closest friends. She unfortunately suffers from several health issues and sicknesses. One of them being asthma. Not sure if you guys are familiar with asthma, but there are more than 300 million people living today in the world suffering from asthma. And out of which, 250,000 of them die per year because of asthma attacks. That's when they are allergic to something, and then they start coughing, and then coughing, and then they cough their lungs out until they can't breathe anymore. And that only happens if you don't have the right medication which you in time to just spray it, and then you're done. Well, that was what happened to my mom while she was waiting to get diagnosed of her asthma again. She was already diagnosed with asthma before. She's been using medication. But for her to get integrated to the healthcare system here, it took more than three months. And while she was waiting for that, she suffered from three times of asthma attacks. That is a horrible scene to witness especially as a child, and I wish that nobody will ever witness this. But to me, this was unacceptable. How come we don't have a system for this already? A system where your health data can be already transferred, where you go. To me, as a tech enthusiast, as a computer science student, this was unacceptable. I had to find a solution. So in my pursuit of finding a solution, I actually found out in Netherlands, there is a system called EHR, or in Dutch, Electronic Passion Dossier, if my Dutch pronunciation is good, that people are good. <laughs> Each art is such a similar system, where your health records are stored there, and then when you go to a new doctor, to a new specialist, new hospital, your data will be there. But unfortunately, such system does not exist everywhere in the world. And even in countries where it exists, like in Netherlands, or Germany, or Switzerland, those are scattered, they are not connected to each other in any way. So there is still no way of transferring the data. So if you ever travel to Germany, and hope, unfortunately you get into an accident or something, your data is still not there with you. This leads to many people dying per year because of the wrong injection of a medicine they were allergic to. And this was something that I cannot accept happening right now, today, 2019. I continued my research and I actually found out that the European Union Health Commission has come up with three priorities for the health of the citizens. And can you guess what was the top priority? The top priority was a health system, a digital health platform, where the citizens' health data is stored there and can be accessed everywhere. That was exactly my idea. Did you stole my idea? No. 
This idea, I'm sure, has been there for many years, but it has not been implemented in a way where it could be universally used. Current systems mostly suffer from an old infrastructure, an old technology, where they are very uh, susceptible, they're prone to being hacked. And when the EHR systems are hacked, very critical health informations are leaked to the public. And they could be put in the hand of wrong people, and we don't want that. Let's look at the United States, the motherland of technology. They, in the 2018 alone, 229 health organizations in the US were hacked. And out of which, 6.1 million people's health information was leaked. And that is not something we could continue having in 2019. So I continued my research and I continued my pursuit to find a solution. And I actually found a technology where it would address most of the current situations, most of the current shortcomings of the EHR systems. Does anyone in the audience have a guess which technology I'm referring to? I, I hear some murmurs of blockchain. You're right, blockchain. The buzzword, yes. You might have heard it on the news, mostly related to cryptocurrencies, which are digital currencies, digital money. Probably Bitcoin, does it ring a bell? Yes, that technology. A technology where people, thousands of people put their thousands and hundreds of euros and dollars in. They trust it, they trust the blockchain system where the Bitcoin is going. So you could already maybe guess it must be a reliable system where people trust their money with, right? Well, the good news is that the blockchain technology is not only used for securing of money, it's actually a sophisticated system, a state-of-the-art technology, where it allows you to store data, store it in a secure way, the most secure way we have right now, and store it decentralized. What does decentralized mean? It means your data is in the hand of you. You have a right of access to your own data. You decide what you want to do with it. And it's with you wherever you go. And it's not only in the hand of a certain number of people in one database where if it gets hacked or if it gets burned down, all your data is gone. No, the data is with you, in your hand. You decide who you want to share it to. And that is the power of blockchain. And with that, and the idea of HR, we could already make the transfer of data possible today. And by that, we could save millions of people's lives. So because of that, I would like to invite all of you today, if you have a passion for this like me, if you want to save people's lives, no matter what is your background, if you think you can contribute something, come and join me. And let's make such digital, secure health platform a thing of today and not tomorrow. Thank you.